end of day in the studio. So I was supposed to today have a half hour lesson on how to use my video camera, but I was really not feeling good this morning. So I stayed in bed all the morning hoping I'd feel better when I didn't. So I called and canceled it. And then I went over to the studio and make sure everything was okay. And I thought, well, maybe I should work for a little while today. You can't go through a day and not work. So I worked on this one. This is the demo piece for the upcoming standing figure workshop, but it is filled up. But the next one I think might have one spot open, the seated figure. Um, and I think I showed you the demo piece on this. So I worked a little more on this and as it went along, she started to look a little younger than the model. But you know, I always got to fix things. So it, I liked it's a nose. I had an, a turned up nose before. There it is. Anyway, so I'll go back. It is soaking wet, guys. So yeah, you can build uh, a figure like this and have it be soaking wet and not collapsing. And, and if you don't believe me, look here. You see the puddles of water down there? I just finished um, spraying it with a lot of water and then I also laid in some underglazes. Um, I uh, spritzed into the interstices a sort of sienna color and then I sprayed water on it to get it off the high surfaces and then painted it with white underglaze and then I painted some of the flame orange in the hair. and. Um, so it's soaking wet and plus I poured water on the towel here and so that'll keep it nice and damp over the next few days um, because I probably won't work on it again until uh, the figure workshop starts on Tuesday. So um, while I was working on it, I was beginning to understand what this is about. She's in the body at least, she, she looks like an ingenue. I've got a, I had a, a useful face but it looks like I lost it. I'll see if I can't find it again next time I work on it. And then I had this idea of that she was stepping in water at first and I thought well I'll just put some mirrored tiles and I have these right here and no I'm not going to fire them because they would melt everywhere I'd go in six. Um, but I could add them after the fact, mosaic them onto them. So I did cut the slab down a little bit to, to fit them and um, I got to thinking, well, maybe it's not water, maybe it's a mirror, maybe it's her uh, stepping out of, you know, maybe the, the sculptor is finished with her and she's stepping into her life, uh, looking at who she might become, stepping into who she might become. So she, in the other hand, she's going to have a teddy bear. There's my initial drawing. It's got a glare from the lights. Here's my initial drawing in the uh, the model is bringing a teddy bear, so I will rough in a teddy bear. Um, maybe while I'm demoing. Well, anyway, so that's the, and the teddy bear is the, the, you're the teddy bear god. It's the security blanket. It's yeah, you can step out in, and as long as you got that teddy bear. <laughs> and we all need a teddy bear when we're starting new things and whatnot. Uh, a metaphysical teddy bear. So that's all that I have about her. That's the end of the day. Good night. And yeah, it is night. <laughs> the studio is dark. And there's my lights. Oh, so it's not snake season. I can safely walk to the house. And, uh, and oh, by the way, on the hands, I, I always just do two fingers to start with to give me some sense of the movement because I will knock into them and knock them off in the, while I'm finishing it up. So I don't do the whole hand till the end. Okay. Good night.